Hey guys, Blue Yoshi here, and today I have another Super Smash Bros. guide for you. I have Pikachu's today, and we're gonna be using Mario as our little guinea pig. So let's do this. <laughs> um, so, by the way guys, if you have not voted for the next character, you should definitely do that. Um, so yeah, do it. Anyways, so about Pikachu. Pikachu is the top tier character in this game. Uh, that is mainly because he's very fast, as you can see right here, and he is really good in the air, which is always really helpful and competitive. Uh, so yeah, that's Pikachu. Now, I'm going to be talking about his moves, and then I'm going to be going over his customs, and then I'm going to um, just talk about um, who you should watch if you really want to get into Pikachu. So yeah, let's do this. So first of all, we have his jab. His jab is quite, quite special because it is very fast. Pretty sure it's the fastest jab in the game. However, um, however, it only deals one damage. But if you ask me, it's worth it because you can use this to stop punish. So if someone, if you know someone's about to punish you, you can just. You can normally just do the jab out of it, and it can also go into grab. And later on, later in this guide, you'll figure out how great his grab actually is. So yeah. Now for his side tilt, side tilt does nine damage, so very strong for tilt, and um, it really doesn't combo into much. Not that, well. Never mind. But honestly, his side tilt, I only use it when like the time is right. Um, there's really no correct sweet correct time to use it. Um, cause you really can't combo into it and you can't combo uh, out of it. So just use it when you're when you feel like using it, I guess. <laughs> And then we have his down tilt. His down tilt is pretty interesting because depending on where you hit, um, it does a different thing. So as you just saw there, it trips if you hit the edge. But if you hit like right there, it just deals damage. And it deals 6%. So not that much. I hardly ever even use his down tilt. But uh, yeah. And then his up tilt. This is a sight to behold. Because at low percents, you can just combo like crazy with this thing. And it's really fast and it has a surprising amount of range to it too for a tilt. In fact, it goes even further than your up smash, which is quite impressive <laughs> um, for a tilt. But you can normally combo it into an aerial or something. And as I said, Pikachu is really good in the air. So yeah. Definitely a really good tilt to use. Now for uh, dash attack, this is you really have to get used to this thing uh, because it starts a bit early and it ends a bit late. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it just feels weird when you're using it compared to characters like Mario. Um, so like normal characters. So yeah. Now for his smash attacks, at 100, okay, so at, in the middle of the stage, his side smash kills at 120%, so I'm going to show that off here. Well, you actually got a sweet spot it, but, um, <laughs> yeah, um, when they're right on the ledge, it kills at, I believe, 105%, so that's really early. <laughs> Actually, no, that's his smash. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, really early. And then for his up smash, uh, that kills, well, kills at the same percent no matter where you are on the stage because it goes directly upwards versus your side smash going in a certain direction. Um, so I'm going to figure out. Yeah, 105% if they have really bad DI, 
If they have good DI, it's normally around um, 20 plus 120. So, yeah. By the way, if you want to know what DI is, I might make a video on that soon. But uh, there's other YouTubers that have videos on it too, so if you're wondering, you can just figure that out. <laughs> Anyways. So we have, so next we have all down smash. His down smash is really interesting because it doesn't kill till like what, 160%. Um, it, it sends them in a random direction so you can't really plan for it. See, sometimes it kills really early, like right there. Um, and other times you could like use it right near the ledge and it goes in the complete opposite direction and doesn't kill. So, it's a really random uh, smash attack, but it can also cover some ledge options if they're gonna just be there or they're gonna roll. So, yeah, that's all you really use your down smash for. Um, now for his aerials. So, his neutral ale is like a combo finisher. It does, I think, exactly 10%, but don't quote me on that. Okay, 9%. I don't even know. <laughs> but uh, it's a good combo finisher. Um, it also kills off stage. So let's see if I can do that. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it does, but you have to get into the situation for it to work. There's really no corrupt combo to get it to fail. But, yeah. So neutral, you can also short hop into it, and you're pretty safe. Um, so there's that. And then next we have his uh, forward ale. So, for, so his forward ale, that is just like Ness's, in the way that you can uh, follow it up with another one of it. So like, woo, jump, woo. Um, also you can use it on landing as like a safe block, I guess. Oh, whoops. So, really safe on landing. So, really, that's what you're going to be using it for. Um, yeah. Now, his back air. This is a lot like his neutral air in that it's a combo finisher. But you got to be a really... You should watch out when you use it. Because it has a lot of end lag. So, it's really... Once you start it, uh, you're probably not going to end it to quite a while. Um, so if you're off stage and you're very low, normally you don't want to use your back hill because um, it's going to be tough to get back back there. So I suggest using your neutral ail, but you can also use that as like an anti aerial thing because it lasts for so long, or if they're on the ledge. Why does that always happen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even do that, <laughs> but yeah, it's like an anti-aerial, um, and then with his up air, his up air is a lot like most characters, or Mario's if you watch that episode, where it's super fast and it combos into uh, more of it, uh, you're going to be using it in most of your combos, uh, as you're going to see later, so be wary of it, it's a really good move. Now, for his down air, this is really interesting because normally you don't want to use it too much. Because if you do what I just did, it makes a giant explosion and it takes forever to, like, put up your shield. Like, look how long that took. Um, but you, if you short hop into it and then, um, and then use it like this, uh, then you can use your shield immediately. Uh, you can also use us that as an anti-ledge thing, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, now that we've finished all aerials, now we have his grab, or throws. So first, I just want to talk about his grab quickly. His grab range is really weird, because, um, like, normal, like, normally it's pretty good, but when you're using your, when you're using it to... When you're in your dash grab, um, that is really low, it's really weird. <laughs> I mean, like, see how it doesn't grab at the very end of the animation, which leaves you vulnerable. 
So you're gonna have to get used to it, but... So, yeah. Now for his pummel, this is like the... It's not that bad of a pummel, but it's not great like Kobe's. Um, because... Um, you can't use this as many of it. Although I'm pretty sure it's a bit stronger than Kobe, so... I don't know. But normally you can fit one of them at low percents. Um, and about three or four at high percents. Um, so... I'm gonna... Put them low now. Get low. Get down there. You can do it. I believe in you. Nice job. <laughs> um, but yeah, pummel. Strong, but takes forever. <laughs> Which is really weird because Pikachu is like really fast. Anyways, um, now for his forward throw. This. This really is only for pressure. <laughs> I mean, like, really, it deals a lot of damage, but um, it puts on an insane amount of pressure when, like, you have that and that. That just did, like, what, 30%? Although, the one downside to it is that it does not combo at all. So... Yeah. So normally you only want to use it at like middle percents to put on pressure. Um, but yeah. Now for his back throw, um, that's a different story because as I said, Pikachu is really good in the air. So um, if you can get the other person in the air, that's obviously a really good thing. So that's where his back throw shines because it basically puts them in the air no matter if they like it or not. <laughs> now you can't really combo from it at all, but um, it's really there just to like get them off the stage where you can uh, do mean stuff to them. <laughs> now for his up throw, this is probably, okay, this is his kill throw. <laughs> Even though it doesn't kill into a really insane percents, like what, 200%, uh, this thing has a follow-up that pretty much kills. <laughs> um, and that's his Thunder, which is his down special, which we'll be covering in a second or two. Um, so, at one, so at middle percent, so uh, let's go 60. Uh, you can up throw into it, and it won't hit the thunder cloud, and it'll just deal decent damage. Twelve. So um, there's that, but at I believe ninety percent, um, it actually starts hitting the fun, the thunder cloud, which uh, meteors into Pikachu, and Pikachu, uh, once he gets hit by the thunder cloud or by the thunder, uh, he deals the most damage. So it's going right into him. Which is, which deals lots of damage and kills, so, yeah, that's how strong it is. So, uh, basically it's kill foe. Now, um, once you exceed 30, 130%, you have to jump into it, but uh, also, you should never use your, your, um, What's it called? Your pummel before you do it. Because then they have a high chance of like of moving out of the way. Uh, even though they can DI if they're a really good player. So yeah. I'm not sure. No, you don't even have to be that good to be able to know what DI is. But <laughs> um Yeah. And then, now we have his down throw. His down throw is by far, like, his best combo throw. Because forward throw doesn't combo at all. Back throw, you don't really combo from it. It's more like just get off, get over, get off me. <laughs> uh, up throw is his kill throw, but down throw is his combo throw. So, at local sense, you can... Uh, this is what you want to do because it gets the most 
of damage. That does 33%. So what you're doing is you're up ale into up ale and, and then you jump and use your Nutria. So. Now at middle percents, you want to... Ah, what am I doing? You want to go into a quick attack. Um, <laughs> also, if it goes behind you, then you did it wrong. But... Okay. Uh, but that also means that you can go into a back L. So, yeah. Okay, now we'll, now he's at a middle percent, so now I can show it. So you can go into that, and you can up do the up L. Then if you timed it correctly, I'm having some trouble with this. Uh, sometimes you can get a quick attack off. Now depending on where they went, uh, sometimes you can do even more stuff. But really that's like the only guaranteed thing. So, yeah, you never really use that at high percents because you have your up foe and your back foe to really do the job there. But, yeah, so that's his down foe. Now, was, now we're going to go over his uh, specials, then into his customs. But before I do that, since we just talked about his down foe, um, I want to talk about his neutral special, which is very important into getting the foe. So what you, so neutral special just normally is really bad because look how long it takes me to put up my shield. That's some really bad lag and you can't run behind it at all. Um, so really it's useless if you're just going to walk. If you like are just going to be on the ground or even if you short hop. You don't really have much chance. Now if you full jump, it's a whole different story because uh, you have no lag at all. So you can act immediately and you can get the follow up. So um, when that's coming for you, you want to be running behind it and that gives them three options. They can either shield it, which gives you a grab and, uh, and that leads you into a down foe. I just talked about that. Um, if they uh, take the damage, again, grab. Or you could also do a dash attack. But, uh, I don't know, I think his grab is better. <laughs> is a better option. But if they jump, well, now they're on the ale. And, as I said, Pikachu is really good in the ale. So, that you got him right where you want him. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's his Nutra special. Now for his uh, side special, uh, don't use this because it takes because has a lot of lag and they can literally just shield it. <laughs> so don't use this on the ground because it takes forever to be able to use or shield again. Like look at that. Uh, so don't use it. The only reason I'd ever use it is if you're off the stage and you don't think your quick attack will cut it. Uh, that, was a, that was a failure on my part right there. <laughs> but yeah, now on two is up special, quick attack. Um, normally, it just goes up. But if you hit two directions, then you can go like double the distance. So for example, down here, you want to go out and then back in. Um, you can also use it on the ground to be able to cover a lot of distance. And it lets you attack... Uh, right after, so uh, really good on the ground, really good in the AO for his combos, and it helps him get back on the ledge. Yeah, get back on the stage. So yeah, really good. Um, and then for his down special, this is probably like one of the best specials in the game, if not the best, because um, it essentially takes out a whole, like, everywhere above you at that moment, and makes it so that the, anyone takes damage there. So if they hit the thunder cloud, then they go into you, and if they hit you, then it kills, 
Um, and if it's the Thunderbolts, uh, normally that's like the worst place to hit them. But um, it can work out sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's his down special. I already talked about his combos from his up throw. But yeah. So now I'm going to quickly go over his customs and then I want to talk about players that you should watch. So, blah, 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 blah. Two, two, two. Now there's two customs that I don't have yet. One for second, one for his third. Um, so there's going to be a link in the description that you can go see uh, those. So, yeah. Now for his neutral special, his second, this is arguably his best one. Because, um, instead of dealing damage, what you're doing is you're paralyzing them. Um, at low percents, that's not, like, a big difference. But at higher percents, this is, like, the most awesome thing you could ever ask out of a projectile. Because it freezes them. And remember, the highest, uh, the higher they are, um, the more the longer they'll uh, paralyzed. So then you can go into a smash attack and maybe even charge it, uh, which will obviously kill them if it's either your side or up smash. So yeah, really good. <laughs> now for his up, for his side special, this is basically just, it's the same thing, only it does damage um, throughout the whole thing. So, yeah, there's nothing really to say about it. Um, and then, for his up special, I don't have that one, so you can go uh, see that in the description. Um, and then, there is his down special. His down special is pretty much a trade-off. <laughs> um, what it does is, instead of making a big thunderbolt, it only hits you, but it kills insanely early. Uh, this is a bad example because he's already at a really high percent. But you saw how fast he went off the screen. I'm pretty sure it kills at like 80% when they were like right on the tip. So really, really early. Um, so that's how good it is. But remember, it just doesn't have the Thunderbolt part of it. So that stops all your up throw combos. So basically, there's no reason to up throw unless you're going into an up ail. And that's pretty much the only thing guaranteed. So, yeah. It's not even guaranteed, I don't think. But, <laughs> yeah. So, it's kind of it's kind a trade-off. Now, finally, we have his uh, third specials. So, I'm going to whiz through this quick. His third specials, I don't think all that good, <laughs> like compared to his second and fourth, but whatever. Um, so his first is a Thunder Shock. Does three percent if you don't, if you just hit no, no more, or does ten percent if you hit them at the very edge of it. So, uh, Lily, the reason you don't want to do it is because uh, in the air, it still goes straight. Um, so I guess you could do the short hop into it, or even a full jump. But still, it takes away a lot of, like, your guaranteeing of combos. So, yeah. That's why you don't want to... Will he be using this? Although if you do use it, it's pretty interesting. I've never seen anyone use it in like competitive, but I don't know. It could be good, I guess. I've just never seen it used properly. <laughs> anyway, for side special, I don't have that, so again in the description. And then for his up special, this is called Quick Feet, and it's basically the new version of the of this normal one. Uh, it just, it only goes once, you can't change the direction, um, and really it's only for, uh, beginner, beginner players that, uh, don't exactly know how to control quick attack. 
Because his original quick attack is overall just that old. Okay. Um, and then finally we have his down special. This is Distant Thundal. This does not have the Thundal Cloud and it deals... And it takes away the kill post. It doesn't kill if it will hit Pikachu. Although what it does do is it kills if you hit the Thunderbolt. Because that is stupidly strong. <laughs> like, Willie, that... It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid how Willie it kills. But uh, the one big backside it has to it is that it takes forever to walk. So it could walk, but I don't know. You never really, I never really see anyone using it. Um, so yeah, that was all his customs. So finally, I just want to talk about who plays Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu was never really played in Super Smash Bros. until a player named Esam. Uh, he almost beat Zero in, uh, in uh, one of the big tournaments. For some reason, I'm forgetting the name. But uh, he plays Pikachu really good. So if you want to uh, watch a really good player use Pikachu, not that I'm bad with Pikachu or anything, but if you want to see a professional player, uh, definitely watch Esam. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a good weekend. <laughs> and yeah, see you next time. Pikachu. Out.